here we are on Sky Temple and the team in the blue trunks on the left side. It is Hotslock's Elite and Gordon is playing Kerrigan, Sunira is on Arthas, Haas is playing Brightwing, Kendrick Swift is an Uberak and in the top lane we have Liquid as Sergeant Hammer. And on the right side, ladies and gentlemen, uh, they are currently running away and making it very hard for me to read their names. But it is Ace Heaven in the red trunks, and we have Noodles on the Ufa, Shashika on the Muradin. We have Starzerg making a return again on the Zeratul, a pony also making a return on the. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's go finish out in a second. Currently, we are seeing Ace Heaven getting completely destroyed here. Sheep and Starzerg already have to pull out. Kendrick Swish, though, may have gone in far too deep there, and he is going to be first blood. And we are going to see Ace Heaven. Uh, just going to take control of the shrine with that man advantage. Ufa getting out some fantastic heals. But finishing off, it is Sheep on the Valor. And it is going to be a pony on the Nazi boat. Alright, so let, let's have a look at this map here. Um, as I said, I've not really uh, seen it in play yet. Um, except for Chef when he was streaming on release day. But <laughs> it, it's I, pretty I huge. The on release day. It was all about the Zuna. It's it's an amazingly uh, huge map, um, and also it seems like some of these fights are actually not happening with with the entire team um, because of that uh, size. Yeah, it takes a long time for teams to rotate into the shrines. I would like to point out the shrines do spawn in a certain order, and that order is consistent between every game. It starts with top at, and mid lane, and then it goes to just bottom lane. So that's what we, I don't know the order after that, but that's what we will be see starting. And right now, we are seeing Ace Heaven taking control of the mid, the middle shrine, whereas the top lane, very much in favor of Hot Sogs Elite. So they're gonna be trading blows there. Other than that, we're seeing Brightwing hanging in the bot lane, just soaking XP for Seaman. That's already given his team a level advantage. Alright, so what do they got to do here? Uh, I see these warriors are stepping down from the shrine, and as long as you fight them, you have control of the shrine and keeps attacking your opponent? Is that as correct? As long as you're standing in the circle, you have okay. control of it. Your opponent, can walk in and, uh, your opponent can walk in and disrupt and cancel it, and that will neutralize it, meaning that neither team gets the shots. Okay. And once you've kicked your enemy team out, you will get the shots. So it's basically hold the shrines for as long as possible, and those guys, uh, those minions, they do just spawn to try and kick you out and do damage to you while it's happening. So you could end up fighting those statues and the enemy team in one go. Okay, sounds, sounds pretty nice. A little bit of a dynamic setup here. Indeed, and right now, as I pointed out, Hoss is giving his team a big advantage. We have, however, seen uh, Ace Heaven getting the XP uh, deficit back a bit. They're keeping up reasonably well. But now, a pony's in a bit of trouble. He's going to get engaged, but he gets polymorph, but nice zombie wall trapping two members here, but he's not going to be able to... Actually, he may be able to get away from Gordon. Wow. The belt. Oh, he oh. tried to juke, but it was not enough. Arthas one side, Kerrigan and Brightwing the other. He was not able to escape. And while this is happening, Hot Dogs Elite are still soaking every lane, whereas middle lane has been abandoned by Ace Heaven. Yep, uh, so far only Hot Slugs in here with uh, Nubarak, but uh, Sashka makes a return and we'll soak up a little bit more. They're only about half a level behind, so they're still okay. Uh, can still make this up. And I just realized I'm not using uh, Ali's Observer interface. I have to get the new version. He's, yeah, he's released, he's released a new one. I'll send it to you after the game. And yeah, you awesome. I'll, I'll get that in as soon as possible. And um, yeah, that's control for the Watchtower again for Team Hotslocks. And a capture here on the bot lane. And these siege giants are making the way in into the bot lane. Uh, so this boss looks interesting here. <laughs> yeah, is he is he any is, different from from the regular boss? He is. His ground pound is also a knockback. So oh. he can, oh Jesus, Kerrigan is going onto a pony here. And Venom may kill him. Nope, gets the fountain in time. And now Gordon having to back up there is about half health. But can't that was incredibly peace. close though. Yeah, if Starzerg went in there, he might be able to kill it, but he's not going to take that risk. Liquid is just going to start sieging these towers while the bottom shrine spawns. He's just going to wait for his team to get hit. In the mid lane, though, we did see Kendrick Swish get engaged upon a little, but he is more than safe and able to get out of there. And now we're seeing Brightland teleport down bot shrine. It's going to go over to Hot Sog's Elite to start with, but the entire team of Ace Heaven is here to try and contest that. Starzer gets caught, and Sashka goes in on his own Kendrick Swish is the front of this attack and is actually going to go down here to Starzerg 
We're seeing Sonera back it up. Gordon also looking for a good opportunity. Liquid is trying to take down Starzerg, but that is a nice brush tactic there by Starzerg. And there's the heal, Liquid. Oh, Liquid cornered in the back there. Yeah, and Sonera is also caught in the zombie wall. Hostile Elite having to give this up. Great fight there by Ace Heaven. They're just and taking Ace Heaven gets control minutes. here in uh, of the bottom shrine. And we will start attacking uh, the bottom fort now. Nazebo also in there and trapping Gordon, but nope, uh, he can make a getaway happen. Sonera, on the other hand, he jumps in there, tries to get on top of a pony. But um, he's strong enough, has the backup of his team. And they're sticking in there and still attacking this bottom lane. Yep, and uh, something to point out on these shrines is you don't actually have to kill the minions for the shots to be fired off. They can sit there. And once you get to those five blue shots at the top, you no longer have to be standing in the circle. Your opponent can step into that circle and you will still get those final shots. Oh, okay. Alright, the zombie wall goes down. And right now, all the fighting is still going in the mid lane. Neither team is going to be gathering XP or mercenaries right now as they're both dancing around each other. But we're going to see a load of bees out of Ace Heaven. And Hot Sub Delete going to get to mid lane first, but A Pony's there in more than enough time to start getting that XP. Both teams have hit their level 10s. And we're seeing very standard ultimates. We're seeing Napon Strike with an amazing new icon. We are seeing the Divine Storm, the Reign of Vengeance coming down from Valor, Divine Storm, Void Prism. All very standard stuff, except for, as we pointed out before, the slight difference between NA and EU. We're seeing the Blink Heal on Brightwing rather than the Emerald Wind. Uh, uh, too bad I can't actually show the talents right now because uh, I have still I have the other uh, interface activated still, so I can't use it. I I'll run over it as much as possible. So uh, yeah, okay. So so, you know, Go ahead and do that. Block the entire screen. Uh, Ace Heaven is returning into mid lane, and uh, Kendrick Swift is the only one there right now. But it looks like they're rotating back down, and might be going for the boss here. Starzark is, every is scouting everything out. Haas is there. There comes the attack, but Haas, of course, can swiftly get out of there. Siege Camp will be taken here for Ace Heaven. And looks like Haas and Liquid might step in, but nope, not gonna happen. Yeah, but Not in time Sidera at least. And Kendrick Swish from the other side as well as Gordon. They're going for the sandwich here. Stars are kicking a lot of damage. There's a Maelstrom being popped by Gordon. He's going off the Stars. Rain of Vengeance comes down and hits basically no one. Down goes Stars. And the fight continues. A Pony will also get taken down. Noodles may be joining them and he does go down. And that's a free for zero for Hot Sox Elite. And they're going to move on to this boss. And apparently you can attack the boss without getting attacked there from where Liquid is standing. <laughs> As you can see, the difference in this boss is his ground pound is also a knockback and he summons this tornado. It doesn't actually do any damage, but it can push you around and maybe trap you in that knockback. So when you saw Kendrick Switch there, get knocked up. So yeah, it's, it's a bit different. And the tornado will actually spawn when you when it is yours and is pushing as well. So it can actually assist with some pretty nice kills, as has been shown in a video on Reddit this morning. Okay, I'll, I'll check that out for sure. It looks pretty sweet. It does. It looks amazing. Like, this map is so nice aesthetically. Yeah, visually, it's just stunning. Uh, some people said it's too bright. Uh, personally, I like it, actually. Jessica failing to dodge the knockback there in the mid, in the mid lane shrine. But as we can see, A7 taking control of this middle lane shrine. And Hot Elite taking control of the bot lane one. Neither team seems to be taking the solo queue strategy of splitting up and trying to take multiple shrines. Instead, playing it safe staying together as a team and continuing to push that way. Right now, Ace Heaven is a little bit ahead in terms of forts. Hot Sox Elite, that tower won't actually take down the fort there. Whereas Ace Heaven also won't take down the fort, but it's going to damage the tower. And now Hot Sox Elite rotating into this mid shrine, but the four shots have been used. They're not going to get anything out of this. Yeah, a little bit too late. I'm actually a little bit surprised that we're not seeing that many team fights on this map, but um, might also have been due to size. It's Yeah, it's so big. The teams have to... There's a good chance that the teams rarely meeting each other. And right yeah. now, I'm seeing Hot Sox Elite wading their way into this watchtower to grab it. It's a very important watchtower as you get good vision of the shrine and of the top lane with it. It's very good for teams to keep that. Oh, for sure. Um, vision is always key. And am I a little bit surprised that there's only one watchtower on this map? This would have been a prime example to have uh, multiple watchtowers in the lanes and give a little bit more uh, importance to that to that capturing. Since we don't have any wards in the game, um, at least most heroes don't, uh, you could count you could count the creep tumors and, and mines from Abathur and Zagara as um, as wards, but I like the watchtowers. Short term Rhaegar uh, with his earth totem. 
Yeah. But that's, that's very short term. That's, is there anyone in this bush I'm about to run into head first? <laughs> no? Alright, let's keep going. Ah, uh, looks like Ace Heaven. They want to go to get get a good yeah, cow cave here. They're hiding in the bushes. Yeah. And it's, it's might make something happen. It's too, it is very risky. They're currently just sieging, trying to take down this fort, which will mean all three forts of Hot Sox Elite are down. The Hot Sox Elite are very much entrenched here and are not willing to give up this position. Sonera attempting to mount up about three times while being attacked by spiders there, not realizing that it's not going to work. Possible engage coming in there, but no, just going to be knock ups and some damage onto Sonera. Sonera aiming the route actually does get two people, but once again, not going to see an engage. Kendrick Swish's uh, knock up was down, and there is the next shrine just in the top lane, which would explain why the team's been waiting around here. However, because it's 23 seconds that it spawns, we are seeing Ace Heaven going to use this time to take the bottom, to take the top hard cap. Yeah, pretty cool timing. Um, works out quite nicely. So they kind of force Hotslocks into reacting now. Are they going to defend or are, are they going for the temple? And um, that's a really, really good decision. And that's the kind of key timings you have to aim for here. Uh, let's see. Both of them inching towards this temple, but can't really yeah, make a move Stars, just yet. Stars are just sneaking in there, trying to make sure it doesn't get caught while trying to prevent the temple going over to hot sauce. He's actually doing a good job. Only a couple shots went down. And because he remained invisible, apparently the go this guy does not care about invisibility. In comes nope. the fight. There is a void person down the side of the hammer. No damage coming in from there. A pony has not been interrupted, so he's getting down the full duration of the Ravenous Spirit. Starza does go down, though. And a pony now has very little frontline noodles. He's also going to die. Shashishka also goes down. She and Noodles are in the back line. A Pony is still pretty much full health, but A Pony is clearing up everyone here. It's just Noodles and A Pony left, but Liquid and Sonera are doing huge damage. Noodles needs to heal A Pony to try and get some more damage down here, but Liquid and Sonera have so much health here. Oh, nice Sonera's zombie walk! And, and they're getting Sonera! Okay. Incredible! Can't do it. You need to get out of the range. He's gonna try and be here. The stun comes in. Oh, down he goes. Liquid, final the blow. The last member is going to take this shrine. He has no health though. He has to actually be here, or at least go get a fountain. He's gonna yeah, try he and to watch out. Throw these minions. Zero tools back on the map, and uh, he could contest that shrine if he wants to. But no, looks like that's probably not gonna happen here. There are four more guardians here that could come up. Yep, Liquid. And, and Liquid is getting some two, help in the form of Garden. Will, there's two more Guardians that will spawn, and there they are. Stars are arriving just in time to do very little. His team is also, his team is, uh, uh, the rest of Hot Sox Elite that are up are also here. Both teams just dancing in and out of this shrine, using as much micro to just try and keep it even in Hot Sox though. Now have the numbers advantage, they will yep. take control. Ace Heaven needs to watch out, they need, they need a warrior here, and Uther needs to be in there as well. And I think uh, Nazibo could be of some help, but right now they're just gonna give it up. Uh, no more shots to be taken from that shrine. And gonna rotate down and possibly go for the next temple, but soak up some XP beforehand and go for the boss if they can. A pony is already already there doing the works, getting the zombie wall up, and everyone is dodging that that attack, of course. Yeah, and seeing the knockback that we saw that, and uh, seeing the shrine that we saw there, Hotsog's elite were a bit behind in terms of force, but just by doing oh, that. Oh, amazing there. Void Prison here from Starzerk. He scouted everything out, and now they're going in there. There comes the attack. Uther sets the Vine Storm up. Good kill here on the Nubarak. Zanera's on top, uh, trying to get to Zashka. The boss tornado was actually interrupting Zanera from doing anything there, but it's still not going to be enough. Hotslogs just doing so much damage, but now it's Zanera. But, and Liquid once again versus Sheep and A-Pony, but Sheep has no health. The Ufa Ghost is trying to ch chase down and kill Sonera. Sonera needs to oh, self-heal. But Liquid is in trouble it. as well. Zashka, oh, they're not going for, they're not going for the chase here. Kind of surprising right now. And you know what also surprises me? A-Pony. How the hell can he stay alive for so long? He's been using Sprint to get out of these situations, but I agree. He's just been doing an incredible job. He's, it's he's it's just have... insane. He seems like a warrior more than, than a specialist or assassin here. It's more the fact that he's kind of being left alone here, which is a terrible, terrible idea. Yeah, was, really bad focus Evan firing. Doing a good job of focusing down a Nubarak to make mm. sure that that long range interrupt does not come in. Ooh, it looks like a double grab here for Ace Heaven, going for both Siege Giant camps. And, yep, that's the second one. That's the second one going down. First one already veiling away at the wall here. Kendrick Swish is trying to get in there and uh, react to it. But he's the only one, so it's gonna take a little bit of time. Gordon is coming in now as well. 
And looks like uh, the next temple is coming up. And yep. A7 already in position to take it. There is one in the bot lane as well, though, but no one is heading down to that. We will likely see Hot Sox Elite head down there, though, if they can't get to this mid one and take it from A7. If that's not possible, they will rotate to the bottom of lane temple. But here they are. They are all here except for Hoss, but looks like they're going to ditch the mid lane one. A7 are too entrenched here, and they're going to move down and start taking this bottom lane temple. This well, is not too bad for A7, A7 though, since they, can, um, since they can start at this temple, uh, get a little bit of shots off. And once that's done, they have about uh, 20 seconds to get to the other one. Since, um, yeah, uh, Hotslocks got there a little bit later, so that gives them a little bit of time to surprise them there. But for now, just going for the Bruiser camp and get a little bit of uh, attacks on the top lane then. Yep, they knew Hotslocks were going to head down to this temple and they knew they would entrench themselves there because they need this so desperately. So they're using this time, like you said, to grab mercenaries and get, them, get their lead a little bit extended. The mercenaries they had in the bot lane pushed spectacularly well. Hoss is uh, currently just hanging around here, not really doing much. He's afraid of getting ganked, I believe. But uh, he's, he's looking for looking for opportunities to clear waves and make sure that his team does not get pushed in while all this is happening. And it looks like a top lane push uh, coming out of Ace Heaven. They have the bruises with them, a pretty huge wave of minions. And just waiting for the reaction from Hotslocks. It's not coming yet, but uh, Scenario is already in position, so looks like they want to make a stand here. Yeah, and we can see exactly how the positioning in this te team works. We are almost constantly seeing a pony as far at the back as possible. But we're seeing Starzerg basically acting as a mobile ward. He is yeah. providing vision in bushes, running out a bit in front, just to make sure his team is not getting trapped. And he's also killing walls because apparently <laughs> F walls. Just, just, just for the, <laughs> just for the heck of it. No, I gotta agree. This is something I noticed earlier as well. Starzerg is the perfect mobile ward, and um, just having him cloaked everywhere. Um, he always scouts out on the left side, so he knows, okay, uh, Hotslocks is coming from the left, that's their their side of the map, so he's always staying on the left side, waiting for them to come in, and then telling his team, okay guys, we gotta get in a better position, we gotta set up a concave, and set up this trap. Yep, and this is exactly what they waited for here, but uh, didn't quite work out. <laughs> yep, both teams have now hit their level 20s, and now we're actually seeing a bit of differ uh, differences in terms of talents, because Resurgence, as we saw in the patch notes, has been removed from the game. So all the people who would be taking Resurgence, Arthas, Sergeant Hammer, uh, on the other team, Mur uh, Muradin, have all not taken it. Instead, we are seeing chain attacks, Fury of the Storm, on Arthas. We're seeing the advanced lava strike, the upgrade to the napalm on Sergeant Hammer. And on the other side, Muradin has taken the upgrade to his avatar. Well, this is interesting. Um, Ace Heaven is deciding to completely forego their temple and instead go for the oh, siege camp once again. Well, maybe not completely forgo, but they have that moment where they can surprise uh, Hotslocks now. Yep, Shrine they're is now there. up if they're going to engage. Now is the time, and in comes Shashka. He is going to at least neutralize this temple before too many shots come off, but they need to find their good engagement scenario. Get stunned. Oh, Starzog is caught out on the left side. He can't really engage right now. Needs to find an opening and maybe... Uh, he low health hero liquid like Liquid. Oh, Liquid sees him and gets the knockback. Stars are getting knocked down by Gordon, able to blink out of there. The Boy Prism hits so many members, though. Sheep and Apony are just doing so much damage here, though. But Apony finally gets interrupted because Kendrick Swish did survive this time. Oh, Noodles gets out of that fight. Shashka Noodles gets out of the fight and joins in again. Apony and Sheep, everyone's on the retreat. Will they get one of them? Looks like Apony is in trouble. Noodles heals back up, tries to heal Apony, and there's the defensive. Defensive zombie wall, keeping all three alive. That is pretty incredible right there. What it's a feat. Incredible, but somehow they were also able to keep all... Uh, Hostel Elite were able to keep all five of their team alive. Yeah. Despite what was actually a reasonable engagement by... Yeah, especially uh, with that Divine Hurricane. That looked incredible, yeah. but still it didn't do all that much. Yeah, especially... Kind of surprising. I think most of that was... De was down to the fact that the Void Prism did go down onto Sasha Hammer, meaning that she was protected from the initial uh, Ravenous Spirit from yeah. the uh, that we did see. But we are now seeing Hot Dogs. They think they can end here, and they are going straight for the core. The core did take a bit of a buff in terms of damage, but that doesn't l look like it matters at all to Hot Dogs Elite. They are going in. Liquid is in the back doing the damage. In comes Noodles, though. Divine Hurricane hits all the members. Starzone actually doing a lot of damage. This may be a mistake. 
from Hoslo to Elite. Liquid is almost killing off a pony. The core only took shield damage and they are backing out. They lose a member for this. Yeah, this was a little bit too early. And by a little, I mean crazy, crazy amounts too early. Let's see. And maybe they're getting caught out on the retreat here. Brightwing goes down. And Starzerg is still in there, but he needs to stay a little bit further back. Gordon is somewhat in trouble, but looks like he can get away. Zanara also running low, but then again, he is Arthas, so he can stay a while, uh, stay alive for a while. Starzerg yeah, like gets back in there, and that's the final blow to Arthas. Rapid Spirit directly on the face. Not even a team fight. It's just you. Yeah. You are <laughs> yeah, the one just just him being team. chased. You're you're the target here, um, and you're up for grabs. Yeah, and now with three dead and one more 50 second respawn, it's now going to be Ace Heaven's turn to believe that they can finish 16 seconds till a noob is alive. They're going to try and use this opportunity. Ancestral Sp uh, Ravenous Spirit is down though, so they're going to have to be relying a lot on auto attacks on zombies and frogs in this case. From Again, Void Zico. Prison on and Sergeant Hammer. From there's the Divine Hurricane. Gordon's going to go. Oh. No, nice blink, able to survive, but Liquid cannot do the damage, and it's going to be Ace Heaven. But they're going to take the game, baby! No, no, it's gonna go down as well. Whoa, it's gonna be so close here. A hey, pony! Left the minions. Oh, wow! To clear it. Oh my god, that was close. That was incredibly close, and what a close game overall. I mean, early on, it looked like Hotslock's the lead had the upper hand. Then it kind of switched around. Ace Heaven got on top of things, and then later on, it, it was just always back and forth. And then we had this nice little, uh, yeah, back and forth with the core as well. Crazy, crazy game. Uh, let's have a look at the statistics here. I kind of switched the screens too early. Yep, uh, 15, 18 takedowns by Sergeant Hammer. Holy, holy moly. I guess uh, Starzog wasn't so wrong in uh, Void Prisoning her. No, but the thing is, if you Void Prison, they're also not taking the damage. It, I think it might have been nicer to maybe Void Prison Brightwing or one of the damage, uh, one of the tanky characters, just so they can get to the back line and take down Hammer. We saw Hammer survive in almost every single one of those fights, usually with Arthas, the tanky character, the tank and the tank are the two surviving, and they just couldn't get to it. I have sent you the overlay, by the way.